Hi, my name is Dr. Rafael Hernandez, and I'd like to welcome you to this short series of tutorials on learning LibPD for iOS. In this series, I'll guide you through the process of creating a simple iOS app that uses LibPD for its sound engine. The app we'll be creating will feature a single UI element, a switch. This switch will toggle on and off a sine wave that is generated via a PD patch that is loaded into LibPD. In creating this simple app, we'll take a look at how to clone the LibPD repository from GitHub, incorporate it into an Xcode project, set up our pure data patch so that our app can interface with LibPD, and then finish connecting our application to our pure data patch so that we can deploy and test it to a device. There are a few things you're going to need before you can get started. One is an internet connection. The LibPD repository is hosted on GitHub, and in order for us to clone it, we'll need to connect to GitHub and then download it to our computer. Next, you're going to need Pure Data Vanilla. Pure Data Vanilla can be downloaded from puredata.info. It's important to note that LibPD uses Pure Data Vanilla, not Pure Data Extended. So if you're used to using Pure Data Extended, some of the objects that you use may not be available with LibPD. As we are developing for iOS, you'll need a Mac with Xcode. I'm using Xcode 6 and iOS 8. Know, however, that LibPD does work with earlier versions of Xcode and iOS. Lastly, if you want to deploy your app to a device, you'll need an iOS developer account. While this series of tutorials is focused on an introduction to LibPD, it isn't an introductory title to Pure Data or Objective-C. I'm expecting that you know how to create a patch in Pure Data, you know how to patch objects together, and you know the basics to get audio going in Pure Data. As well, I'm expecting that you have at least played around a little bit with Objective-C or have some experience with a C-based language. I know you're itching to get started, so am I. Let's get started with learning LibPD for iOS. If you haven't already, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel.